YouTube back with a sales day video. I haven't done one of these in a while. It's been crazy busy around here, new job, travel for work, things like that. So I apologize. I haven't gotten one of these out sooner. I've obviously been selling things and shipping things. I just haven't um, been able to take the time to make a video. So today is the day that will return. So I've got this nice big stack of stuff here that you can see off to the right. Boom, 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 boom. Got this nice big stack of stuff off to the right here, so we'll go through all that. We got some some investor lots, some PSA graded stuff, some singles, some inserts, um, lots of multiple card orders, which is always good, and then uh, just some random random singles. It's a little bit of variety, which is always good. So the first order is five of these. 98 Metal Universe Farves. So no doubt someone looking for grading prospects or trying to complete some sets. Metal, there's metal set collectors. Sold this 94 Michael Irvin Sport Flex cards. Pretty cool. One of these promo back to school 96 Skybox Impact. This is the kind of stuff I try to get as much of as I possibly can just because the oddballs are, are tend to uh, get you the most return. I mean, I got $3 for this card. I couldn't have paid more than 10, 15 cents for it, you know, out of some lot or something. But it's the back to school version, so it has no number on it. And then it has a quote from. Um, a teacher, I think, on it. Uh, I'm not sure. But anyway, um, it doesn't... The other thing that distinguishes it from the regular base is it doesn't have the foil on the um, last name. So anyway, got that one out. And I've got a little pile of Brady Bucks cards here. This is the Flea Flicker insert in Mosaic. Two Donruss, two Leaf Rookies and Stars, two Contenders, two Absolute, and two Prestige. So just some some plain base stuff. Those are I, I love selling that stuff in quantity um, because buying lots you get a lot of that stuff. So getting to be able to turn it over and make something on it is pretty amazing. This is an interesting card. I got this in a lot and I don't know much about it, but I think it's some kind of a promo because it doesn't have a regular number on it. It just says MPP8, but then on here it says look for more UD Masterpieces football in the fall. So it looks exactly the same as the regular base card, um, but I noticed that it was a promo. So it was, again, that oddball thing. I was able to, to get a few more bucks out of it because of that. So the O3 Donruss Classics, early Brady stuff does well. And I had a buyer buy these two. This is, I think this is O3 Platinum, O4. O4 Platinum and then the SP Pro Bowl Performers. Both of those. And then I had another buyer buy a O4 Platinum as a single. And this buyer bought a whole bunch of Farve inserts and parallels. So the first one is this EX Exceptional. Love that card. Great design. 05 um, Gold Medallion Ultra. And then an Ultra TD Kings, the die cut version. So it's got that little crown cut. So Ultra Logo Rhythm, 95 Ultra Gold Medallion, great looking card, I like that one. The Blitzkrieg Ultra Insert Die Cut. And then all three of the classes for the, I think this is 99, right? 2000. 2000 Tops Gold Label. So you have class one, two, and three. 
And then my favorite purchase, hold on one second here, I got an avalanche. Uh, my favorite purchase was this yellowed uh, EX. I listed it separate from my other ones and listed it just like that. It's a yellowed one. Um, some people like that, again, kind of oddball type of thing. Uh, some of these acetate cards would yellow over the years due to the way the plastic was. Here's EX Helmet Heroes. Just picked that one up on a purchase maybe a week ago, so a good flip there. Uh, Gold Label Race to Merino. And a showcase mission possible. 96 sensations, the gold marble border version. Ultra sensations checklist. These are actually pretty hard to pull. They were considered an insert back then. And then 98 ultra gold medallion. The other base card gold medallion it's got like a kind of a gold fleckiness on the where the black border would have been it says gold medallion down there then a 98 gold label an 04 passing kings out of ultra and an 04 ultra Ultra Performers, this is the gold, so it's got the gold on the bottom, and then the die cut, so it's got rounded corners. A couple different versions of that insert. And then last but not least on that one, the 2004 EX Base. One of my favorite base cards of all time. Does not get enough love in the hobby for what it is. Okay, then I sold the 97 Contenders base. Wouldn't be a video without a 92 tops. Here's a base tops that I sold. This is a 99 tops chrome record numbers insert. This one is pretty well centered. These are actually pretty tough to get centered. It's off centered on the back of course, but it might be a good grade, grade candidate if it gets cleaned up a little bit. Faces of the franchise, this has Rogers and Favre on it. I think this was 2011, yeah. So it was the year after Favre retired. Uh, buyer bought these two in absolute Tom Brady bucks and a 2010 Contenders Favre. Crossing the quarterbacks there on that purchase. Then I had a buyer buy these two PSA 10 cards. One is the 92 Stat Smashers. Got this really cheap not that long ago, so I was happy to be able to flip that. And then this one also, I, I find these for $16 to $20 here and there, and then I just list them for $40. And they tend to sell, not not real fast, but they'll sell over time. And um, you know, it's a, it's a double my money. And if it doesn't sell, it's a PSA 10 with a Brett Favre rookie on it. So I'm happy to hang on to it. And then I have one, another buyer bought these three. Here's a 92 Pro Set PSA 10. A 92 Wildcard Field Force insert PSA 10. Wildcard being all the rage, which is good. It's my favorite set releases of all time. Um, here's a 92 wild card field force silver. So it's got the silver foil on it. PSA 10. So those are my sales over the last few days. Um, please like, subscribe if you like this kind of video. Leave comments. Let me know what card did you like the most. And um, that's it for today. And we'll see you again real soon.